If you want to combine the data in these columns A, B and C with a pair of double quotes around them, the easiest way to do this task is using flash fill to add double quotes around all those values in the column A. Double quotes, type in value in the cell A2, double quotes, go to data tab, click on flash fill. Every value in the column A is now copied into the column D with a pair of double quotes around them. To combine the data in the columns B and C, comma, double quotes, value in the cell B2, double quotes, comma, double quotes, value in the cell C2, double quotes, press Ctrl E. And Flash will just combine the data in three columns of thousand rows with double quotes around them. Even if flash fill feature completes this task in seconds, there is a drawback for this method. Flash fill feature is not dynamic. When there is a change in the source, the result won't update for that change automatically. If we are dealing with data that is supposed to change, we can overcome this difficulty by writing a formula. Formula to add double quotes around the value in the cell A2 is equal repeat the double quotes four times ampersand a2 ampersand again repeat double quotes four times now let's see how this formula works the outer double quotes one and four will tell excel that this is a text the second double quotes tells excel to escape the next character and third double quote is included as literal text To combine the values in the cell A2, B2 and C2 separated by a comma with a pair of double quotes around them, we'll insert a comma after third pair of double quotes, repeat double quotes three times, ampersand, B2, ampersand, repeat double quotes three times, comma, repeat double quotes three times, ampersand c2 ampersand repeat double quotes four times and we just combine the data in a2 b2 and c2 copy the formula into the adjacent cells And now when I change the data in any of the source columns, the result that is data in column E gets updated for that change. Use of many double quotes like these can become confusing for at least some of us. In that case, we can use character function. Character function returns a character according to the value given inside the function. Character code of double quotes is 34 and when we specify this value inside character function, it will return double quotes equal character function specify the value 34 inside the function and the function returned the character double quotes. To add double quotes around the value in the cell A2, ampersand A2, ampersand character function. 34. To combine the values in the cells A2, B2 and C2 separated by a comma with a pair of double quotes around them, ampersand, double quotes, comma, double quotes, ampersand, character function, ampersand, B2, ampersand, character function ampersand double quotes comma double quotes 
ampersand character function ampersand c2 ampersand character function Again, we have combined the data in columns A, B, and C with double quotes around them, but this time using character function. Copy the formula to the adjacent cells. As we are using formula here, when I change the value in the source columns, the same is reflected in the column E. Now one more way of adding double quotes around values. Right click on any of the cell. Select format cells. Select the tab for number. Under category, select custom. Type in backslash double quotes at the rate. Backslash double quotes. You can see the preview here. Click OK. And you can see double quotes is added to start and end of the data. To apply this formatting to the other cells, in the Home tab, click on Format Painter. Select the data range where you want to apply that formatting. You can see here, numbers in the column C are not still having any double quotes around them. With number, we have to use hash instead of at the rate, right click, select format cells, type in backslash double quotes hash backslash double quotes. Click OK. And you can see double quotes are added to start and end of the number 32. Use the format painter to apply this formatting for the rest of the cells. I hope you will find this video useful. For feedback and discussion, please make use of the comment section. And those who are visiting this channel for the first time, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any video releases. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.